Hello! It is me, tis I. I am, I just had fun. I just made a video. Um, gonna, oh, I gotta see, can you see my camera? Oops, sorry, I covered, that's my camera. <clears throat> Anywho, I just covered, I mean, um, I just made a video of, okay, so do you guys remember I got this APC box from Michael's, and it's by Prima, and it's in the section where, um, Finnabar, Finnabar stuff is, and it has 52 craft cards inside, and so I've just um, been having some fun. I did some mixed media backgrounds, and now I'm inking them. I'm going to do a coat of matte medium around the edges. I, I have to see my chat. I don't see the chat. Chat viewing options. Hello, Linda. All right. Top chat. I don't know what that means. Hi, Janine. And Kiwi. Yeah, Kiwi's here. Top chat. Live chat. Yay. All messages are visible. I actually, maybe I should get my phone. Dang it. I don't think I have my phone in here. Anywho, I'll let some of you get on. It is 10.30 already. I've been up early today. See, I can't see the chat. Doggone it. All messages are visible. There they are. Hello. Hello, feline addict. It's Heather. <laughs> I just figured I'd go live. Haven't seen you guys in a while. Oh, but I need, okay, what I'm going to do is make a list because I'm going to make, these are going to be um, art journal prompt cards. So I've started a list here. I have create texture and spatter. Those are my two that I want to use. Um, I, you know, I've been online and, I, of course, checked out. I know that um, a lot of people do prompt sticks or I can't think of the name of them. Anywho, uh, I saw Barb Owen. I saw Stacy. I saw so many people do these, and I've never done them and I think it's very helpful I gotta go get my phone because I can't see the chat um, it's very helpful to have a prompt a set of prompt tickets and stuff because you don't have to think you can just do what the card says so that's what I'm gonna do um, so yeah those of you who are just joining, I gotta go get my phone. I don't know where it is, but I gotta go find it. All right, there I am. Okay, so I want to see the, there we go, top chat. There we go. Linda, Jen, and Pam. Hi, Pam. Hi, Shirley. Love for Tink. Okay, so guys, I want to do, um, I need your suggestions to do art journal prompts. Hi, Amy. Um, so I've just, I'm just finishing up and I just, I will be posting a video later today of how I made these cards. These are the ones by Prima. No, I didn't change the layout. Does it look backwards or upside down or something? 
I didn't change anything. I want to. I want to declutter it. I want to take out the cubbies that are in front of my fireplace. I don't want them there anymore. Hey, Amy. Hi, Lisa. Um, so I am using archival ink. Oh, I have henna. I did it myself. The door is usually on the other side. I don't know. I think I'm trying to figure out like how I'm filming. I'm filming. This is how I always film. Uh, yeah, I use that. That's my iPad. So, um, it's just filming. However, I never saw. Hi, Mary. Good morning. Hi, Lisa, Lisa. So, yeah, so I was up very early this morning. And because my dog, wherever she is, she kept waking me up. She woke me up three times last night. Usually she doesn't. She's a sound sleeper. She doesn't stir until the morning. But then the last one was at like 6 o'clock or something. Plus Joe's alarm was going off. And I couldn't fall back to sleep. Usually I'm pretty good at falling back to sleep, but I was, I got up. What's backwards? I don't know. Can I flip it? Kiwi told her to do it. No, you didn't. There she is. Baby, what are you doing? All right, she's going to lay down. So anyway, so I got up. I told Joe, I said, I'm getting up. I never get up. It's six, seven o'clock. Um, anywho, I have been working all morning. I came right in here with my cup of coffee and I created these, um, I would consider them ATCs. They're a little, they're three and a half by two and a quarter. And they're the, it's the box from Prima that I got a while back. And I decided to do some art journal prompt cards. Um, there's Pick a Stick Challenge. That's one of them. The pick, I know Nina Rabina does. Um, she's doing this. She belongs to a group. But for me, I really just like the idea of um, having something to push me. Okay. So what kind of... Do you guys have these? Do you, ha do you have the Pick a Stick Challenge? Have you used prompts before when you do art journaling? And if so, hi, hi Pam. Um, if so, what uh, prompts do you love? And what, what do you think are good ones? I saw Barb Owen. See, some of them are like a whole sentence. Like it says, take a piece of scrap paper rip it into a heart shape and adhere it to the page. I don't really want that elaborate. I kind of just want things and I'll figure it out. I just wondered if you guys had any um, suggestions, but I uh, already have create texture and spatter because I forget to do that. I never, I generally I never use texture paste. Um, and I rarely spatter, which I love to spatter. I always do stamping. I always, generally always do um, stenciling. Um, so I'm trying to, like I want to use, what do I have? I have one of those wax pencil things, this. A china marker. I'm going to put that down. Using my pencil, this pencil. Um, use China marker. How about, um, I want to use my Stabilo all. So that's a water soluble, water soluble, uable pencil. I'm almost done. I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to probably put, um, a coat of matte medium on here. Let's see what you guys It looks like I'm left-handed. 
How does it reverse? Did I reverse it somehow? Because basically, look, that's that's just showing you right in front of the um, iPad. That's all I know how to do. If I'm, I don't know how to reverse it, so that's weird. You know what, though? Huh? That's weird that it looks left-handed. I'll be left-handed. Lefties. My husband's a lefty. Lefties are smart. What does it mean when you're a lefty that you use your brain? Oops, see, I didn't do that side. The left. You're a left brainer or something. I don't know. All right, so I am using archival, and I'm just inking the edges of these. I used my my little gel press this morning, and I made three different color palette. I'll show you. I'm almost done. Your hubby's a lefty too. You're more creative. The thing is, you know what I would say? Like I'm right-handed, but Joe has a great imagination. Like he's a very imagination. Like I don't have an imagination. I can create things, but I can't pull it out of my head like he does. He can make up rhymes on the spot. He can, um, he just is so creative. He's very sarcastic. I'm tearing this up. See, I'm so rough, but I'm, um, so I know there's definitely a difference uh, with the right brain and the left brain, but anywho, um, I just know opposites attract, and we're very opposite. Actually, we're probably a little too opposite. I wish we were a little more alike. All right, I got three more to go, and then I'm going to show you what I did. I'm going to put, I'm going to let them dry. Oh, man, they're getting thicker. I hope they're going to fit in the box. But yeah, I filmed the process, so um, I'll be posting that shortly. But I made a deck of cards. I just did, but I'm a great copycat, Ginny. Says she has a difficult time being creative. So that's why you might want to make some of these journal prompt cards because that way, because I was just thinking, like, I've been having some issues with, like, loneliness. I've been very lonely. I don't want to, it sounds pathetic when I get on here and I say all this stuff, but, um, we're empty nesting and Maya only comes every other week and, uh, I don't work. And so I'm kind of trying to figure out what I should do with myself. Um, I've been on YouTube for five years now. And um, I hope that I'm going to turn the fan off. Because I don't want it to be making a noise when I talk. Um, and I've kind of lost my mojo. I think I've tried so many different things. Hi, Dawn. I'm a jack of all trades, master of none. Look at these though. These are yummy. I did a purple set, like some purple. Pinks and oranges and yellows and greens and blues. And then I just put circles of uh, white and black. I used the stamp that I made, I carved. They are pretty, I'm very excited. Now the only thing is I'm uh, not sure whether I want to paint the back because they're just craft cards. And I'm going to, I'll probably, um, I should do the cover the same because they're so, it's so fun. Um, like I said, I just filmed the video with my regular camera. They fit. And I'm going to keep them in here and it's going to be my um, prompt cards. So, what type of prompts do you think? Hi, B. Wiggins. See, I know who B. Wiggins is. Belinda. Are you Belinda? Who 
is good. I'm so good at everything I do. Well, thank you. I love it. I do. I love to try new things. So, um, yeah, Belinda, I was right. What are the prompt cards? Hi, Eva. I, okay, so I was thinking, this is what I was starting to say. Um, I don't art journal as much as I used to. I've been doing YouTube for five years and I've tried so many, like I saw a video by Lolly. Do you guys know Lolly Palooza? She had crafts revisited or something, a video of crafts from the past, something like that. <clears throat> and it was actually polymer clay. Okay, Lisa. Um, she showed polymer clay, and I, and it was like, boy, I could really do videos like that because I've done so many different things. But one of the things that I know I want to continue is um, art journaling because painting is my first love. I was a decorative painter for years, so um, I know that I'll always continue. Like now I've been starting to do the dot painting. I'll show you my little moon I did. And I was just playing around, so I didn't know where I was going with it, but um, here's my little moon. Um, I didn't love the background because I used weird colors, but it, it looks all right on camera. So I'm loving the dot painting, and um, but I switch around so much. Thank you, guys. Um... So, I thought, so the, the prompt cards, if, if you've heard of the Pick a Stick Challenge. Okay, Pam, see ya. Um, yeah, it's tough, though. It's tough because I, that's where I feel um, the most, I get inspired when I see something new. But, I have all these supplies from all these crafts, and so... I need to do a D stash or something um, and really focus, like, like you said, Dawn, on one or two things that I really love. Oh, Belinda, it was you. So, anywho, these are going to be, have you guys seen that, the Pick a Stick Challenge? Or, um, well, Eva, they're... The prompt cards are, they're, these just happen to be the size of an ATC, but they don't have to be the size of an ATC. They actually use um, popsicle sticks. That's what the pick a stick challenge is. Like you could put popsicle sticks in a jar and just pull it out and it's just supposed to prompt you. Um, so it just prompts you to use a supply or to do a technique. So this is just going to be, and it, mine just happens to be, I bought this before and I wasn't using it. So I thought, ooh, perfect. There's 52 of these. And so I could just go like this and just pull, or just put them out and pull one, two. I'll do it. I'm going to do it once I figure out two three, four, five. I'll pull five of them, right? And then see what they say. So on the back, so the front is all pretty. I just decorated it. Okay, Jenin, see ya. So I have five. And then on the back would be like create texture, um, spatter, use a china marker, water soluble pencil. So that's what um, I think I'll just figure it out because I thought you guys would totally be into this. Um, like, hmm. 
now not oh book pages yay Shirley thank you see Shirley I know you know Shirley knows well Brenda tell me some prompts that you like so I'm putting book pages book pages I love that because I would love to have a piece of book page on my art journal page. So what I'm shooting for is to start journaling again, to start art journaling. Like I have this one and you guys know stamped tissue paper. Um, let's see. The thing is, oh, your, your brain is mush. I was just saying, I've been up for a while add circles I love that add circles add circles perfect add circles love it um, see I always I generally always doodling is good metallic paint doodling is good because um, I never doodle so doodling would definitely take me out of my comfort zone I'm not a good doodler but I have the um, pasta paint pens like I should use uh, Neo Color Twos. Use well, I put water soluble pencil, magazine cutout. So collage and image, collage, collage, and image. Cause I just have like I have these Tim Holtz ones that I bought that I never use have a ton of them and I have stuff that I've um, that I have uh, cut out at the to have at the ready and I just never do it like I never think to do it oh add add a um, one of these add words what is it called a sentiment or not a sentiment but chit chat or um, Anyway, I can't think. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to coat these now. I think they're done. They're just little mixed media um, backgrounds. Add washi tape. Yes, you guys. Oh, man. Add washi. Because I have all these things and I never think to use them. Use a kiwi feather. Well, I did that. A quote. That's it. Add a quote. You guys are awesome. I knew it. Nine, ten. Once you get going, um, I did add a kiwi feather to last year's. Was it last year's, Kay? And I just got a new baby. I just got um, another budgie. Black. I usually do. How could I, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm just going to put it because the thing is, I'm going to take creative license with it as well. Like it's not like it's written in stone that I have to use by Jenin, that I have to use what the card says, but it's a, just a jump off point, right? So add black. Yeah, Belinda, that would be interesting. I think, you know, Stacy, um, Pink Poodle Crafts, she had like add something non porous, like say um, a piece of metal or uh, plastic watercolor with salt. Um, I have never done that. Now, here's the thing if I'm doing a mixed media page, well, that's for sure mixed media um, but would that like interfere or would I have to do it on watercolor paper specifically add a add tinfoil so Brenda do you do um, the pick a stick challenge what is it called and where is it is it a, a Facebook group my hands are so grungy that's gross because I just finished. I haven't washed my hands yet. Um, tin foil. Um, 
Ooh, bling, add bling. I could add bling. Uh, or this sounds interesting. I can't remember his name. Um, but you know what? Add add glitter, right? Add black. Add glitter. Um. Yeah, I've done. I've seen the um the salt, and I love it. Um, but I think. That might be like a separate, um, oh, you know what I wanted to do? I want to make lines around. I want to doodle on these too, I think. I don't know, maybe. Um, so what have you guys been up to? How's your summer going so far, wherever you are? Okay, hold on. It's a live stream. Late night on Mondays, mixed media spin, um, mixed media mashup, and had a list list of prompts in her Facebook group. Yeah, I think I saw her video. Someone else, I think it was um, Eva Leve, Eva Leve, something like that. Uh, had Mary Canada's been beautiful. So far, I mean, I don't know. Yesterday was gorge. Now we're going to get up into the 80s, I think. But yesterday was so beautiful. Winter in Australia, Pauline? It's winter? But that doesn't mean like snow, does it? Where are you, witchcraft, do you do? Montana. OMG, I saw something on Facebook last night from Nebraska. I'll watch this later. I gotta go. All right, Dawn. In South Wales. I think I'm Welsh. Just frost. So in the mornings, you have to like clean off your car. Everyone loves Montana. Did you guys? Lots of bugs. Did you guys? Um, oh, you're from Australia too? Did you guys ever see, um, oh, wait a minute, Lonesome Dove. Lonesome Dove was a Western series years ago starring Robert Duvall and um, Tommy Lee Jones. Anyway, they wanted to go from, I don't know where Lonesome Dove was. Yeah, right, Mary? Did you see it? But they wanted to go to Montana. They wanted to go settle Montana, so they drove cattle all across the country. Anyway, I just saw a Facebook post last night of something about, I, I want to say it was Nebraska, and it was these um, sandhill cranes. They were so beautiful, and they're tall. Like, you know, Kiwi, I have an itch. Cranes are very tall birds, and they were jumping around. I know. I haven't been out west very much. I've been to California and I went to Texas one time, like not even a nice part in, in Texas. But um, I haven't seen very much of this country. I really do. I really want to see some stuff. I told Joe I would love to. What would you guys think if I did? Um, I was thinking of Joe and I take a, um, we rent one of those like, Eva Freeman. Hi, Anastasia. Yeah, like a road trip. Okay, so here's my idea. So I was thinking we would rent one of those like mobile homes, right? And take like three months or something. And I would film on the way. And we could meet up in different places. Like, if I went to, I know I want to go to Maine, so I would have to find someone from Maine, you know, and then we could meet up, and they could show me, like, cool stuff in Maine, and then I would go to wherever the next state and all that stuff. But, like, I could film it and share it with you guys. Yeah, like a Winnebago, one of those. And, like, we could do crafts, or it could just be, like, maybe I would just change it and, and just be, like, my traveling channel or something. Um, but, you know, I'd have to bring the kids. 
we'd have to bring the birdies and the doggies and stuff, but Joe said that he would do it. Like, he thinks it would be cool. And that way, like, I could meet, we could have meetups and stuff, so that's like one of the things we're, um, we talk about, uh, yeah, we talk about when he retires. He has seven years to go before he retires. Hi, Rosta. I don't know what your name is. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just on here, you guys. I just created these cards. These are um, going to be journal prompt cards. So I'm going to put the prompts on the back. I just created um, mixed media covers, like mixed media fronts. I did a couple of different color palettes. And I filmed it, so I just need a few ideas. I have create texture, spatter, collage, add washi, a quote, black, add glitter. Yeah, so there is a pick a stick challenge public group on Facebook. Um, add circles. I did have add circles, add black. Um, I'm trying to think out of the box because I generally stamp and I generally stencil. Um, I don't doodle, so I put doodle, doodling, uh, um, collage, yep. So anywho, that's what I'm working on. So I want to um, finish these and that way, I'm going to do a journal page using these as my prompts. And I'm just going to do whatever it says. Um, there's 52. This happens to be a um, add dots. This happens to be a 52-page ATC box that I got at Michael's. Um, it's by Prima. And it's in the Finnabar section. Did you poop on me? Tissue paper, um, collage and image. Shirley said book pages, collage book pages. Um, anywho, I'm going to, I, I know Barb Owen has uh, a list. She actually has like a downloadable list. I think Stacy's might be downloadable. But I want to just use like. I can't think of what to do. Oh, I didn't put out oh, add glitter. So that would be like at the end. Texture would be texture paste. Add texture, texture paste. Hi, Vera. Yep, textures are texture paste. Um, this is hard. That's why I want someone to tell me what to do. <laughs> I want the whole thing is for someone to tell me what to do. My back is hurting. So I got up. Hi, Lorena. I got up super early. Oh, use a die cut. Um, dang it. I can't think of things. See, I'm not going to. Ooh. Crumble the page. Add flowers. Um, add, like, um, Kiwi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Here he is. Here he is, Jen. This is Kiwi. She's a girl. What are you doing in my hair? Come here. She's a green cheek conure. Come here. She's about... I would say she's at least 10 years old. She's probably more than 10. She's probably like 15. She's clipped. I keep her clipped. So basically her flight feathers are clipped. See, see the ends of these feathers? You clip them off and then she can't get lift. Hi, Dana. Add houses. I like that. And then my page would be houses. Let's see what this one looks like, Kay. So see these last, it's usually about the last says, oh, ribbon or lace or string. Add fabric, ribbon, lace, string. Add ribbon. 
lace. I like that one very much. Um, but she's pretty good. She's not a talker. Supposedly the boys stitching. Ooh, I like that. Add stitching. Now here's the thing. Hmm, I think I'm still, I can't really take my art journal and add a feather. Yep, add a feather. Add stitching. You know what? Sometimes if I'm working on a page that's um, loose, I can add stitching for sure because I have my sewing machine right upstairs. Add hearts or stars. Um, I like that. I want to add a heart because it's add a heart or a house because those are two of my faves or a butterfly, right? Make stitching with a pen. So that's like doodling, Shirley, but I like that. Like I was thinking at a border felting. You know what? I have to um, make a doll. I have to make an art doll and I haven't done it yet. Um, anywho, felting. I have been seeing some really cute and this gets back to like trying new things again. I just love trying new things, but man, I have a lot of stuff. Metallic paint, I like that, or a metal embellishment. So, oh, excuse me. It's just that, or, or like add a pocket or a tag, right? Use a punch. Right. <laughs> Shirley said, for those who don't have a sewing machine, do, do pen stitching. Um, ladybugs, so like a focal image, right? Add a focal image. Well, I generally do. See, I was just going to, ooh, sketch something, like make a face or something. That would be, like my art journal pages are usually like this. Like, you know, it's usually something, don't eat my book. That's like a scene, vellum, add gold foil. Um... These are stuck together. But like when I first started, I was just trying everything like masking. I think this is masking, right? Like I did a background. Add Zentangle. Oh, I like that. Because I could just do a border. Zentangle border. Zentangle border. Because you could just leave space. Dana, thank you. Sarah style, right? So I've tried, I could even add dangles. Oh, ooh, drippage, drippage. I don't love drippage, but I'll put drippage, drippage. I need 52 things. So <sighs> I'm going to put drippage, drip, edge. Um, what else was I thinking just now? It just went out of my head. Um, cause I float all the time shading. I could do lettering, add lettering. Right, like, um, what kind of lettering, Kiwi? Big word, add a big word, add a big word. I like that because add a big word, that could just be my focal image. Because what I'm thinking I'll do when I, when I do, when I use the prompts, add a big word. When I use the prompts, yeah, my favorite quote, stickers embossing powder I'm gonna use that I because I have it and I love it um, embossing powder um, when I do the prompts I'm gonna pull five at a time like I'm gonna pull five cards and see what they set <clears throat> see what they say because then I'm gonna have to pull the whatever the em embellishment is Use a marker, alphabet dies. I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. Yeah, um, but I think um, some things will fall under the same topic. Use a Stabello, did I put, I put water soluble pencil. Um, book pages, circles, doodling, all. Jelly print, I like that. Collage, let's see what I put for collage because I put collage and image. Um, use vellum, add paw prints, use a map. 
That's a good one. So sometimes, see that's collaging. I don't know, like see that's a thing. If I stick with Sarah style, that's not the kind of journaling that this is gonna be, but I wanna do this. I wanna not always do Sarah style and come out of my box a little bit. Um, a doily, I could use a doily. Circles, glitter paint. I have to put stamp. Um, ooh, I hate this page. Certain color or pair of contrasting colors. Yes, lace. I put um, add ribbon lace and circles in. Yeah, Sarah style is pretty good. Like I've, I'm getting used to it. I'm loving our art journal so far this year. This page is super cool. Um, I love my dot page. Did you guys do this? Are you doing it? A postage stamp. Then this one was our cardinal, right? He's okay. I think the background, I, I darkened it too much. Like I went back and like shaded too much, right? Don't you think it's too dark? Um, I love this one. This is so cute, my little dragonfly. Um, white gel pen. Add white gel pen doodles. So, all right, I am going to, and this one, another favorite. See how I added lace? So that worked out perfect. Right, Kay? And then I add, I add dimensional magic or thank you. It says have the topic go in order of the alphabet. Hmm. Oh, thank you so much, Belinda. Add some gems, add a sticker. See, stickers, I have stickers and I never ever use them. Um, you know what I like to add is um, micro beads. Yes, a silhouette. That's a good idea, Karen because I have, um, actually these are Dina, what is her name, is her name Dina Wakely? Dina, these Dina Wakely, um, what are these called? Masks and stuff? This is a mask and stencil, and um, I've never used it, so I can use a mask or, what did we just say? Silhouette, right? So I want to put silhouette, I don't know how to spell it, slash mask. Because I know, like, I have these and I've never used them. I think I even have some stamps of hers. Yeah, these. I've never used, oh look, that's a butterfly mask. Never used these. So this is like what you mean by like a silhouette. Oh, use a handmade stamp. Awesome. Draw a face, fibers, stencils, burlap, or cheesecloth. Um, I like that. I like the burlap because I do have burlap. Add burlap script stamping I know I add it to everything I put it on here Shirley so the last video I made it's just my go-to so these are just um, I think I'm gonna put a line around use gesso I could I generally use gesso to um, add some swirls I love swirls how about add leaves and flowers? Flowers and leaves. I'm going to put that burlap. Flowers and leaves. Um, 
use black. I think I'm just going to put that too. Because I, I mean, I generally do use black, but I'm going to put it use black. Because maybe I'll blacken in like some spots and then do um, doodling in white gel pen um, on there. You guys are awesome. Thank you. This is what exactly where I was hoping. But like on this one, I use glossy accents on the windows. I use stickles on the hearts. And what else? Did I use washi? No. And the lace. And then this one I used um, chipboard and buttons. Ooh, use buttons. I have to put that because I use buttons all the time. I mean, I have them. Ooh, metal or clay. Yes, buttons. 23, 24. We're almost halfway. <laughs> It's a lot of stuff, but you guys are helping me so much. Let's see. 25. Add buttons. Because I have so many. Use a brayer. Thank you, Karen. 26. Use a brayer because I love, that's what I used. I used the jelly plate and the brayer. Leaves from your garden and paint over with matte gloss medium. Wow. Add lines. Um, I like adding, you know what that is? It's like um, Kate Crane has a technique where she'll take a credit card and she like puts the side of the credit card in black and then just kind of like goes ch -ch -ch across the page. Do some journaling, perfect. I want to do that. 20. I never do that. That's what art journaling is supposed to be. Do some journaling. So I did Mendy on my hand yesterday. It. This is kind of like a mandala. It's not cross hatching. Ooh. I know what that is. Use a spatula. Stained glass effect. Shimmer mist, ah, sprays, right? Or, because if I use drippage, I would probably use my acrylic um, shimmer mist. I'm going to put that. I don't have very many, but I would use what I have, 28. And like I said, I'm going to take artistic license and do use shimmer mist. Or just sprays, right? Um, what was I going to say? I used the brayer for these. I used, um, so yeah, and this is stickers. So this one's stickers, buttons, a wood embellishment. So this one was a good one for that type of stuff. I did a bunch of like, oh, I did embossing. These snowflakes are embossed with white embossing powder. I used bling. Yep, use bling. I think I have that on here. I put add glitter. I think I'll put use bling. Because that's different. And I have a lot of bling ribbon and different stuff like that. Um, stickers, stickers. You guys are great. Hi, Amalia. Enamel dots. I don't even have any. I might, you know what I, where I could probably find enamel dots in some pocket letters that people have given me because I don't ever remember buying them. So, um, I'm on number 29. I'm excited. So yeah, this one has, I didn't even know it. So this is January. February, I use a lot of stuff too. But yeah, so that's what I'm hoping to accomplish by using these prompts is, um, like, look at this stitching. This just gives me an idea. These are, um, I never use these. Around the Edge by Dilutions, Diane Reevely. I've used the, um, leaves a lot, but I haven't used this. This is like a little stitch pattern. This is like a doodle pattern, the checkers. So add a border. I want to add a border. Junk mail, fingerprints, 
You're not driving your truck? Yay! Gel pens, yes! Lorena Crackle! <gasps> OMG, I just saw um, Kate Crane. I just, I love her work so much because of the bright color. I'm gonna wait, I'm, I gotta catch up. Use Crackle. I wanna do that. And I gotta, oh, junk mail. Nah, 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 nah. Chain. Oh, use a napkin. Wow. Dendritic print. Liquid pearls. Ooh, I like that because I have them. 31. Um, liquid pearls. Oh, you know what else? Regular perfect pearls. Liquid, liquid. You guys are killing me now. You're going too fast. All right. Scratch into gesso. Dana, I want to do that because I've done that before. Scratch into gesso. Liquid pearls. So that, that would be kind of like an after effect crackle. Uh, use a napkin. I like that. I have napkins and I never use them. Use a napkin. Junk mail too. Gel pens. That's one I wanted to put. So I'm on 34. Ooh, yes, Shirley. Shirley, gosh, you're good. But um, that's what I think um, Stacy has uh, several different ones that are like your choice. I'm going to do that. Add a magazine image. Alcohol ink. What's the topic? Oh, sorry. I just created, I did a video this morning. I have, I have to download it. I finally, I'm going to use this ATC box that I got. This is by Prima and it is in the, um, Finnebar area. There's a couple different ones. This is the craft one. I think there's a white and a black. Anyway, it comes with 52 cards inside. They're three and a half by two and a quarter. But um, I finally decided to, uh, stickles, I got that, it's amazing how much stuff we have, I know. Anywho, I decided to finish them. So I've just done a basic, I'm going to post the video today, I've done a basic kind of background on one side, and then on the other side, I'm going to put art journal prompts. And if you've, if you've heard, use a rub. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, I have, if I use a rub and buff, right? Rub and buff. I'm going to put it down. 35. Rub and buff. If I use that, it might have to go along with, um, something that, yeah, use a craft card. Anyway, so, Am Amalia, I'm going to, I'm asking everyone for, um, yeah, I know. I've used them, Shirley. Washi, I have. That's on the list. I'm using, I'm asking you guys for your suggestions for prompts that will help us when we're going to do an art journal page. Yeah, I'm going to use the rubs on embossing. Um, and I love doing that. I've done it on my art dolls all the time. I love doing it. Um, so, you guys are helping me pick a uh, and really, some of them can be pretty elaborate, the prompts. Like, it, it'll say, tear a heart out of a scrap pencil, uh, uh, out of a scrap, I was reading that, out of a scrap paper. And, you know, I didn't really want it to be too elaborate. Oh, hi, Sherry. Oh, Amelia is Sherry. Yeah, I have to write this down because... I cut things out of birthday and Mother's Day cards. Yes, you know what I did? I cut up calendars. If it's like, I've gotten really cute calendars before, like, um, I can't think of her name. Mary Engelbright or um, Use a Charm. Oh, I'm going to put that. 36. Wait, because I'm getting beside myself. Not beside myself. Deli paper. Deli paper. Um, 37. Ooh, resist. I want to 
put a charm. Like a Brad or, yeah, Brad's char charm slash Brad. Um, a quilt square, a fabric. I want I think I put used fabric. Hi, Nance. Um, I'm not done. Use a clay piece. Use wings. Oh, I like that one. Use wings. That's awesome. So I have, I have like use, um, a house or a circle. No, add circles. Where is it? Ribbon lace, heart or a house. Chipboard. Yes. Dot painting. I'm going to put chipboard. Chipboard embellishment. Because I have them. Like I have, or, or like those little wooden ones like I used for this guy. He's like a little wooden guy. He's little wood. And this is chipboard. And these are buttons. So that's a cool one. That's definitely. And then... Ooh, ooh, things are going. Tags from clothing. Wow. Um, Nance, so I just finished, I, um, I filmed it and I'm going to be posting. I just created backgrounds for all these cards. These are going to be like the pick a stick challenge. Or they're just journal prompts, right? So acetate to make stained glass effect. You know, Jennifer, I, someone else put the stained glass effect. I don't know how to, I've never done it. Um, so yeah, Nance, so we're, um, and we're just, I'm getting so many. I'm already on number 39. There are 52 of these cards and I am, ooh, steampunk. Steampunk and the sun, moon, or stars. I like that. Critters. Add a critter. Um, use a gear. Yeah, like I think, hmm. You guys, man, you're really going to town now. Saran wrap and paint. I know what you're saying. Sponging. Like sponging or um, faux finish effect. Use a faux finish effect. So faux finish. F-A-U-X finish. So that would be like, um, okay, so for the stained glass effect, use alcohol markers to paint the ace tape and just use black to make it leaded. No way. That is amazing. I'm going to have to try that. Scallops. That's like, you know what, Dana? That's like, um, yeah, so for a faux finish, it would be bubble wrap. Well, I don't think that's really, but that's, yeah, um, saran wrap. And um, I put crackle because I think, um, yeah, border marbling. Ooh, see, I don't know how to do that. But I put about a border, like I put used China marker, Zentangle border, vintage. Birds, I like birds. So I have 10 more. Oh, my back is starting to hurt. So I got up super early today. Dimensional paint, Mary. Mark making tools, shabby chic, doily. I'm gonna put doily. Um, that's like for texture. Ombre. Neon. I'm gonna put add neon. Person image. Yeah, I was saying I have so many things like look, all these Tim Holtz. Images I could totally add. That's what actually, ooh. 
Maybe I should, because these are so cute, but they do look unfinished. I put glitter, glitter, glitter. Use a photo, a coloring page. Hi, Margaret. You guys are, so these are done, but they're just kind of a background, really. Travel theme. Tag. See, I like add a pocket. Transfer image. Hi, Margaret. So, um, what was I just thinking? Sometimes I just have to look through a magazine and get inspired. Wow. String. I put um, fun foam. Really? Newspaper. A tiny envelope. Geometric shapes. I like that. I'm going to put geometric shapes because I never just do, like, I could just do a page with geometric shapes. Like, you could make it into something. I don't know. So, 42. Geometric shapes. Like, a, um, Kate Crane actually maps. I do want to put that. Paint over a screen. I put book pages already, Dana. Um, what was it? She was making tags. Um, yeah, these just don't seem finished. I'm going to have to put something else on here. They're all the same. I did the same technique. I did three different color. Um, I did blues. Good luck. Bye. Aluminum foil. Drywall tape. That's a good texture. So if I were going to add texture, see I did pinks, orange, and yellow. Purples. And blues and greens. So, um, but they don't look done. Maybe I should put little, I put washi. Um, so, all right, what else do you guys want to talk about? I think we're doing great, though. I am going to be able to finish these up, and I'll come back, and I'll do a video of a art journal page. I want to see how many of these little small things are in here. Because I might add, look, a little doggy. He might have to go on here. I might have to finish these glossy accents. Did I put that? Glossy accents. I think I used um, dimensional paint. I know, right? I think, look at them. There's tons of these little doggies. There's little people. A paper clip. Jump rings and gems. A paper clip. But look, I have to put some of these tiny little things on here. I'm going to pull them. I don't know if I have 52. OMG. Sorry. I get excited. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited. I have tons of them. I have tons of tiny little images. This is called Paper Dolls. And it I got it at Hobby Lobby. It's Tim Holtz Ideology. Surely, I think I'm going to do it in my art journals. I have several art journals. I got this big, huge one for everything art. The um, year-round art journaling and I have not used it up at all. I have tons of pages. Like these were some classes that I took. Like when you say add journaling, like that's exactly what that art page, that page would have turned out to be. This was Kate Crane. This was one of the Kate Crane. It was like a patchwork thing that we did. Well, the cards fit in the box if I use the dimensional items. That's a very good question. Do your prompts in order. Well, that's the thing, Dana, when I pull them, so I'm going to pull them and then I'm going to decide and I'm going to use artistic, artistic, um, what is it called? I don't know. I was, I, I have no brain. 
but uh, license, artistic license, right? And I'm going to say, yeah, this isn't going to go right. Like, I'm going to pick five that go together. Um, yeah, I'm going to pick a big, I'm going to probably do a big piece. I, look at this whole art journal. It's not done. Maya and I did this one. This is me and Maya. So it's just to play and, and see and have fun and use it because I have not been art journaling lately. I have not been creative. This is another class. I don't know what the heck she was doing, but it was a class. I don't like it. This one is um, kind of nice. I never really did anything like this before. But I could do better, you know? I think I could do better. Deck of ideas, basically. Exactly. Um, paper sentiments. I make you excited. Oh, my God. Sequins. I want to put that. I have sequins, and I don't... How would you add them, though? I'm just going to put it. 43. I'm going to put add sequins, S-E-Q-U, slash, um, micro beads, because I don't think I ever put the micro beads. I love adding micro beads. Um, yeah, Dana, but the thing is, Sometimes it definitely should be layered. Like, I don't think you should collage a focal image before you do everything else. Yeah, I'm just going to pull the prompts. Right, and I'll skip a card if it's not good. Like, I'm just going to randomly pull five out of here and then be like, okay. And if they work together, I would put them in, I would do them in order so that they would, um, yeah, like, so that they would totally, like, make a page, not just be... Um, a mess, like a pile of mushiness on top. Like, you know, I can't put the sequins underneath everything. I am getting a lot of good ideas. Um, yes, oh, wild card. Thank you, Mary. You reminded me. So I definitely need, um, so I'm on 44 wild card. I'll probably put a couple of those in. Maybe like two, so 44 and 45, wild card or um, something choice, like, uh, yeah, Nancy, so I have some things like that that I've already cut out with my die cutting machines, and I have to just pull them. Yes, fabric, yes, Sarah's choice. Um, four wild cards. Yeah, I mean, that's true. But, like, I, like, see this, um, China marker. Like, I never use this China marker, but I, and I never doodle, so I want to try and start to, to come out of my box. I have my sour style now. I do have an established style that I love and that I'll continue to do. I think that's what we'll focus on when we do the, um, the page a month that I've been doing on the nine by, um, what is this? Nine by six. So this will continue to be Sarah style. A subby chooses a prompt. That could be fun. <laughs> Kiwi can't do that. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing in my hair? I'm getting my hair cut. I don't know if I'm getting it all cut. I don't think I'm I think I'm just going to get it like, because look, it's pretty long. I think I just got to get some of it cut. Oh, blowing paint around with a straw. Use a potato masher. What the heck? Movie title for a theme. You guys are awesome. All right, so... Um, I am going to upload this video that I did of me painting these, but I think I want to put some um, images on here. I don't know. I think I think I should. Like this is a little big, but there's look at this little tiny one. I could put a dog and a kid. Oh my gosh, so cute! I have to. I'm going to do, oh, tickets. 
Yes. You know what? I have a pack of tickets, like a pack of Tim Holtz um, word tickets. Um, I don't know where they are. Oh, rub ons. How about rub ons? I'm going to put that. Because I have like four or five packs of rub ons and I never use them. Another dot page. This is the first one that I did. Sandpaper. Why? Bye. Bye, Vera. Make a puzzle piece. I have to put this down. Rub ons. So I'm going to put like wild card 44. My hubby just called. Um, 44, 45, 46, 47. So 44 through 47, 44, 45, 46, 47 is a wild card. So I need 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, five more. Um, I don't even have enough room on my paper. Did you guys see my moon? Look how cute. I got to do some more dot painting. I want to do another big mandala. I have another big canvas. My big mandala is hanging in the, um, in Joe's office. But he wants one to take to work. Uh, <clears throat> thanks, guys. So I'm on number 48. Patriotic theme. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. Like, I haven't done theme ones. I'm, I think I'm using, my prompts are going to be more like techniques or supplies. It's a supply prompt or a technique prompt. Um, what was the one you guys like? If See, like, I have add texture. I can use... Um, I can use the drywall tape. Um, I can use, um, paste, dimensional paste. Uh, so to add texture, you can use, that would be scratching into the, well, scratching into the, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go through and I'll I'll decide what I'm gonna do. So that's it. I think I think we're good. I'm not gonna oops. You guys, thank you so much. I knew you would help me. So I woke up early. I was saying um Kirby woke me up a bunch last night. Three times I got up, so I couldn't fall back to sleep. And um <laughs> I just thought, I thought, it was like quarter to seven. I was like, I'm just getting up. So I got up. I've been up all morning. It's a, it's 12 now. And um, made a video and just couldn't wait to come on and go live with you guys because I knew that you would help me out. So um, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I do think I'm going to add some images on these. So I am going to use matte medium. Or should I use Mod Podge? I like Mod Podge. Who has a, a preference? Do you guys have a preference between... Yeah, Kirby, you know, and it's fine. The silver metallic tape can be sent through the embosser, alcohol ink, prefer matte medium. I've seen Chelsea, she's fantastic. She's fanatic too, she makes a video like every day. Yeah, what do you prefer? You prefer, you don't pervert matte medium, you prefer it, okay. <laughs> um. Those cats are bossy, huh? Herbie's in her kennel, so she doesn't really, unless she has to go, she won't bother us. 
Then when Joe leaves for work, once he opens the kennel, she comes and gets me, or she'll just come lick my face and uh, sleep with me for a little while. Like she doesn't make me get up. She just curls up on the bottom of the bed. All right, so I'm gonna show you, this is my stack of cards and it goes in here and it fits. So maybe, yes, they're totally worth it. I love her, she keeps me company my sleepy little dog and my bird. And now I have another couple babies. We have two budgies, but um, thank you. Bye Dawn. Yeah, this is Kiwi. She's my girl. You're a good girl. You're my good girl, right? Oh, goodbye. Um, all right, I think I'm gonna go. I need to stretch. I've been at this. Of course we spoil them. They're like our children. But I may, I really want to add some focal images to these, but it might make them too fat. Maybe just a couple. I think I have to add a couple because they're just too fun. Yep, Lisa Roman. All right, you guys have been so helpful. I knew it. So I'll be back. I'm very excited. I can't wait for you to see how I did these, which are super cute. And maybe you'll make your own deck of um, prompt cards. All right. And I think I'm going to do the, um, the box too. So I think I'll, maybe I'll come back and do that as a video. Thank you guys. Thank you, Shirley. You're a blessing. <clears throat> you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. You too, Mary. Bye. I don't know how to...